the odds of you keeping Rosalind will shoot up, and if, perish the thought, it does go wrong, you'll have the pick. Girls like a bit of rough, but in my experience, they prefer a nicely laundered waistcoat. Okay, just one question. Fire away. Now, should I join the Dandelion Club if I'm convinced it's full of wankers? Well, we're a broad bunch. Think about it, for Rosalind's sake. Wait, 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 this is the wrong room. This is... This is definitely the wrong room. You didn't see us here, right? Okay, we're off. Come on. And so our statue is returned to us once more. Let's hope it remains undefiled for longer than it did last time. Fellows? Dr. Halford? Students, Byron and the Greek. <laughs> Do not move. We can't move. Oh, yeah. well, I know it's a long time since I've seen it, but the musculature seems much less defined than I remember. Really? I think they're lovely. Lovely buttocks. Lovely. Lovely buttons. Wait, is he talking about you, Lars? Or am I? Yours, Gaylord. What do you think? Flyer for the student rep campaign. <laughs> you got my vote. <laughs> oh, it doesn't look like I'll need it. No one else is nominating against me. Cowards. Uh, Dorian came to speak to me earlier. He offered to make me a member of the Dandelion Club. I told him to shove it. Oh. Rejected the olive branch, eh? Shame. You'd look good in a tailcoat. Yeah, well, you've got to do the right thing, haven't you? I'm taking all of this tribunal stuff very lightly. And what's that supposed to mean? Just that in general, people don't mess with the dandelion club. <laughs> look, I'm not afraid of those inbreeds. Would that be the inbreeds whose president I'm related to? Ah, oh, well, you know I didn't mean. Come in. Hi, um, do you remember me? <laughs> yes, of course. Charlotte. Look, I heard about what happened this morning and thought maybe you'd like to talk about it. You know this song? Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer to. I'm half crazy, all for the love of you. It won't be a stylish marriage, I can't afford a carriage. But you'll look sweet upon the seat of a bicycle <laughs> made for two. I will stand by you through wheel and blow. Daisy, Daisy. Ross. You'll be the bell that I'll ring, you know. My sweet little Daisy Bell. Ross! You don't know what they're doing to me. You don't know what they're doing to me. Get out. Oh, babe, what's happening to you? Well, now, that is terrible. I see what you mean, sir. Yeah, so, what happens next? Me? I'm going back to the lodge. Finish me sandwich. Coronation chicken. Very tasty. Yeah, but what about all this? Well, if I were you, I'd clear up this mess, sir. No, I, I mean the Dandelion Club. They've trashed my room. Sounds unlikely, sir. 
What I'd advise is tidy up now, not let it get like this again. A little bit every day will do wonders. I did tell you. What? Ross Bonham's popular in the Dandelion Club. So this is OK with you? Just saying, Trinity's been here a long time. It has conventions and customs you don't understand, and it might have been best if you waited until you did before messing with them. You know, your cousin was right about you. I very much doubt that. You're on their side. I'm on their side? How old are you, six? Fuck off. You can make that up to me later. Ah, Gabriel. Come in, come in. Take that seat. You voted against me at this morning's council meeting? Well, the Dandelions have plenty of money. They could easily afford the restoration. Mm -hmm. Should I be worried about you, Gabriel? Worried? Why, why would you worry about me? <laughs> oh, I sense that Angela's return has disturbed you. Remembrance of things past and... Well, we were so close. She and me and Richard. Oh. Edmund, this tribunal, I am going to be impartial, you know. I took Angela's latest book out of the library this morning. Have you read it? Ah, uh, science, not really my thing. No. It's a rather touching dedication. It's still Richard, isn't it? You know, Gabriel, <clears throat> I don't actually need you to win this tribunal. But I promise you, if you vote against me there, not only embarrass Angela, but I will humiliate her. No one in college will take her seriously again. You don't want that, do you? You're bluffing. Well, off you go, Gabriel. You have a first-class mind. One of our stars. It saddens me to see you still running around after Angie Dunn. She's not interested in you. She never was. You're very handsome. <laughs> I'll finish your shoes. They'll ask you if you want to say anything. And when they do, you'll stay quiet. Leave everything to Mar Travers and Dory. I'll talk if I want to. No! No, you'll say nothing. Look, we can't afford another one of your funny turns. One wrong word and they'll expel you. So what? So, what will I do then? What will I do?